Welcome to this video in which we are going to solve exercise 5 about intensity duration frequency curves. The exercise we're going to solve here is a little bit different from the one that we partly solved in class. This is more complicated and is applied to a real case here in northern Spain. So everything that we're going to see in this video is the same as you should uh, apply to the other case but it's more complete so you don't need all the functions that we're gonna learn here there is a previous video you should have watched before doing this exercise uh, that is called a statistics basics fitting distribution in which i teach you how to use scipy stats to fit a probabilistic distribution and how to use the cumulative density function and the ppf function to work with it uh, okay as usual, in the main folder, there's the notebooks folder, and there you have the notebooks to do the exercises. There's one complete, which is the one that I'm showing here, and another one incomplete with gaps in the code cells, so you can just follow that, that uh, notebook with the video. I'm going to start, as usual, with a new notebook, and let's call it exercise 5 solution. Okay. An intensity duration frequency and curve are a common approach for defining a design storm in hydrological projects. IDF curves relate re rainfall intensity with storm duration and frequency. And they're usually a plot like this one here that has duration on the x-axis, return period for different lines, and intensity in our y-axis. Our purpose is to define the design intensity for any infrastructure. And our inputs are the duration of the storm. This should be the time of concentration of the catchment and then the return period for which we want to develop our new project. So imagine that we have a time of concentration of 60 minutes. So we'll get here and we want to design our structure for a 100 year return period. So we go up to the 100 year curve, which is this one. And then we exit the plot through the y-axis and this gives us an intensity of three point something inches per hour and this will be our design intensity we're going to try to build a plot similar to this one with the data in our exercise there are two types of idf curves in which in one which we call empirical idf curve we only are gonna set some points of this lines not the whole line on the other side the what, what we call analytical idf curve we're going to create these soft lines out of the points that we created in the empirical idf curve to build a idf curve of out of our local data we must carry out a frequency analysis this means that we need an annual series of maximum precipitation intensity for several start durations and we have to, to feed this annual maximum series to a distribution, which in our case is going to be a ge general extreme values distribution. The steps through the exercise are these five here. First, we have to import our data, which are hourly precipitation series. Then we'll have to generate the series of annual maximum for different store durations. So for different values of duration, we have to create a series of maximum events. Third, we have to fit a GEV or general extreme value distribution to those maximum series. And from that, we can start building our IDF. First, we're going to estimate the points in the empirical IDF, and then we're going to fit the analytical CDF. This is quite a long exercise, so I think we're going to do it in different videos, step by step. So let's get start. First, we have to create, oh sorry, we have to import packages. So this is going to be simpler. It was just do like this and drag and drop the packages we need. Good. So we need as usual NumPy, Pandas, and then I added these two lines because we're gonna get some warnings when we plot our tables in Pandas. And then to plot graphs, we're gonna use Matplotlib um, the Seaborn package, which allows us to create uh, easy histograms as we saw in the previous video that you should have seen before. Let's say here, let's set the context to notebook. 
and we can start so first of all we're gonna import the data The data is in the data folder and it's called early precipitation Oviedo. This one here. Okay. So we see that it's a CSV file. If we open it with a different with Notepad or any similar text processor, so open with Notepad, we see that it's a CSV file. So columns are separated by commas. First column is date an hour and the second column is the precipitation in millimeters so we need to import this into our notebook okay so to import our data as usual we use pandas and read we are importing a csv file so read csv and we have to give the name of the file so the file is two dots to go and this is the same for all the exercises so we are working here so two dots goes to precipitation then we uh, get into data and then we want to import hourly precipitation Oviedo I met plus psi good Let's see if this works. Uh, oh, PDF, no, PD. So this is our table. Since this is daytime, date and time uh, values, we have to use parsed dates so that pandas understand that these are dates and or date times. Um, then we want the date time to be the index. So we can say index call equals to date time. Now this is what we wanted. Let's give it a name. And this was gonna be precipitation hourly. And we can see how it looks. The first five lines with the head method. Good. Let's plot the data. So we're gonna give a size to the figure with fig size. And this can be something like this, 3.5. This is subjective, but I think we can see good with this size. And then we're gonna plot H index will be, so the dates and hours will be the X values and the precipitation will be the y values and we're gonna give a line width quite narrow so we can see properly and let's give a label to the y axis label this is precipitation in millimeters semicolon and we enter and this is our series so we have data from somewhere in 2005 to some point in 2019 i would say remember this is hourly data so this was our first step in the process import data let's go to the second step Control m m and we get there and then we second step was to generate series of annual maxima okay we have to do this for many different uh, durations. So as many as we want in the plot. Remember this plot here, we have different durations and as many durations as we, an as we analyze, we're gonna get more points in the curve. So I'm going to start with an example for two hour storm duration. So out of our one hour series we have to create a two hour series how do we do how do we do that series of two hour rainfall intensity remember we have to work with intensity and this is precipitation so um if we are in precipitation hourly we're going to use a fun function called rolling which is going to create windows of the width that we want so if it's okay so a window we have to select the width, which is going to be two. 
in our case because we're working with two hours and let's keep this to center true and then we sum with this what we have created is a series that starts in the same year so 2005 first of january at 0 a.m and it adds these two first values and put it here here sorry then it goes to one and two it adds these two values and put it here etc etc meaning that it's just adding to our windows of precipitation we're gonna save this as precipitation uh, to hour and then we have to divide this to to be intensity so intensity to hours will be precipitation to hours divided by two which is the weight in hours let's change the columns and this is millimeters per hour intensity good and now we can plot so now we have intensity in millimeters per hour which is the target variable in the idf curve from this series that we could uh, we need to create a series of annual maximum so to extract the maximum for year 2005 to for year 2006 2007 etc etc how do we create the annual series series of annual maximum intensity we start from our intensity to our series and we're going to use a function called group by which is going to group our whole series by an attribute that we have to give in so this will be in our case year so we get into index and year and it's going to create a group for all the rows for every year if we do this it doesn't show us anything but we can apply here function and in our case we want to the maximum for a year so we just apply max and then we get the maximum value for each of the years okay this is our series for maximum intensity we call this annual maximum for the two hour storms and if we go to this here uh, we can just show the first five lines okay good let's use what we learned in the previous video to see what these series look like so we're going to use seaborn this plot remember this is what we're going to use to create histograms and we just pass in this series here and let's define okay just like that we create an histogram and remember this is the kernel density estimator which is a soft line to show us more or less how the data may look like we can change the number of bins and increase it a little bit to eight okay so later on we'll have to feed a function to these values but before we do that we need to repeat all this process so creating the intensity series and then the maximum uh, annual series for different durations okay and we're gonna do the same with a loop storm durations so uh, let's say durations for the study. We're going to study durations like number array and durations like one hour, two hours, four, eight, sixteen, and twenty-four. The more hours you you input here, uh, the more accurate your analysis is going to be. But I think with these six. Uh, durations is enough to show you the process good and now we're going to create the series for of annual maximum for all these durations so series of annual maximum intensity we're going to create a data frame in which we're going to save our series and let's call it annual max Oops, sorry so this is a pandas a data frame is a table in pandas and first of all we're just going to give it an index uh, we 
which is going to be uh, just the years. We can extract just the years from this one. So unknown max to age. Index and year. Okay. Oop, simply index. And then we can see how this looks like. So we have an empty table with only uh, define the index, which are years. Okay, and now we have to fill in this table. So we'll make a loop across duration. So we're going to do for each of these values, repeat the processes that we created here. So we can just copy first this line here, the rolling. But instead of two, we're going to put here D, which is the duration. So the first time it's going to be one, second time that it enters the loop, it will be two, third time four, et cetera, et cetera. And directly we're going to convert it into intensity, dividing it by the duration. And this we're going to call it intensity for duration D. And then we can copy this other line here. So from the intensity D, we're going to apply group by to the to create groups according to year. And from those groups, we're going to strike the maximum. And we're going to save this into an annual max D. OK, so with this, we are adding values with a width equal to the duration of the storms. And with this, we're creating the annual maximum series for that duration. If we now show what's inside annual max, we see a series from 2005 to 2018 for different durations. So these are the maximum values of precipitation for each of those years. Good. I'm going to stop here the video. So this was the first part, the first two parts of the exercise. We're still missing three more parts.